Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Today we're going to take a look at the Slimline wall washers, the RGB version, and how to use the DMX and set it all up. So let's take a look. These are available in a 12 inch, 16 inch, 24, 32, and 48 inch lengths. They all plug in just 120 volts AC, so you don't have to worry about supplying a separate power supply. This is the RGB version, red, green, blue, and it is controlled by DMX. So before we show that being hooked up, let's take a look at the menu options on the side over here. All right, let's take a look at the menu screen right here. We have two buttons. We have the function button and the up button, A and B. So the first screen this comes onto is going to be the seven channel DMX address channel. We're not gonna use this feature, it's at 001. We wanna make sure that we have a little dot between the first zero and the second zero here. So we're gonna to go to the next function here, which does that right here. Okay, now this is into the three channel mode. That's what we're gonna be working with with our channel. What that is, is this is the first address of the three addresses. Address one is gonna be red, address two would be green, address uh, three would be blue, RGB. So we're gonna leave that right there. You can change that to whatever you wanna work with. For our purposes, we're leaving it at one. Now, the next menu function we're gonna take out look here is a pre-built mode that bypasses the DMX. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the function button. So this first one is called our snapping function mode. And the second two numbers there are just the speed. If you hold down the B button, you can increase it. It goes from one up to 99. You just increase the speed of the snapping pattern, as you can see that this is doing. So I'm gonna increase that speed up here, get that up to the top speed. Now we'll press function again. This is another preset mode with the letter P on here. This is color change by fade. And again, you can change the speed by pressing B to make it go faster. Go to the next function with the letter E. This is going to be the color change by pulse preset. And again, you've got your speed change right here. That's all three of the preset color changing modes. Now if we press A again, the function key again, we're into the RGB channel override. This is a static mode. This is great if you're doing some diagnosing or you just wanna see a single color. So right now it's on the red mode. And the, it has a range on here from zero up to 25. So as you can see, as I increase this, the red channel is gonna come up and you can get it all the way up to full brightness. As I said, this is a static mode right here. This is just for testing. If you go to the next screen, we can bring up the green here. Bring that green up, press it again, then there's blue. Now we've got all three colors on the screen. This is the static mode. When you go back to DMX, which happens when you press the function key is another time here, we're back to the seven channel, and the one we wanna be in is three channel mode right here, it completely bypasses those static modes. Just want you to be aware that those are in there. Okay, now that we've done that, let's take a look at how to hook this up with DMX. So this is a DMX wall washer, and as such, it has to be connected to a DMX compatible system. And it actually comes with this handy cable that you can connect right in. This plugs into this plug right here. You can put that on and tighten it up. And that outputs to an XLR type connector here. Now this can be connected into various different DMX controlling devices. I'm going to use as an example, a standalone player right here. This would just plug in here and you would control it with the software that is compatible with the standalone player. If you don't have this type of connection for DMX or you wanna use the other compatible product that we have, the in-wall controller, it actually has DMX connectors on the back. If you're going to do this, you just take that cable, cut it off, gives you three wires. These are your DMX signal wires. The red is gonna be your DMX negative, the white is gonna be the DMX positive, and the bare wire is the DMX ground. Those go to the correct ports on here, so let's take a look at that. All right, now we have it wired up here. We have the red to the D minus, the white to the D plus, and the bare wire to the ground. And then the other end of that, we're going to plug that in right here. Just line up the flat side on the bottom, plug it in, 
and tighten it up. Now we already have this set over here to address 0.01. That's gonna line up to address 01 and zone one right here. So these zones right here correspond to addresses. This is to address one. This one's gonna start at address five. And number three here is gonna start at address nine. We do have videos that cover all the features of this controller. Please check those out in the description. So now that we have this all hooked up, we're on zone one. When we turn the dial right here, as you can see, we're changing colors on the wall washer. You can press this button to go to all, all of the channels all on, and you can turn everything off by pressing the power button right there. We hope this video was helpful for learning how to set up all the features on your slimline RGB wall washer. For more helpful videos on DMX, please like and subscribe.